Right. So then it comes back That's to the, literally what happens, Chris. You just contradicted yourself. Let me explain. You said it's not because people throw it on the ground and it ends up in the street. It's because it's shipped shipped into a different part of the world where it ends up on their street, and then it ends up. so it's, yeah. it is the same thing. It's it's not different. The problem is that it's being used, like I said, for the consume in a consumerism market. It's being used in terms of packaging and other types. So it's a, it's the fact that it's even being produced for these certain types, and it's not and that's not just the corporation's fault. What's the alternative? Um, well, we can just do what my parents did in their generation and make things out of glass and not have all of these ready to throw away, toss away objects or... Yeah, but you can't have glass everywhere. Uh, you can't have glass in a hospital setting. So that supports your argument, but uh, you shouldn't have glass on the beach. You shouldn't have it in public places where you can drop it and it breaks and uh, it can shatter into pieces that get stuck in people's feet and shit. You, like it's... Glass isn't the complete. So I understand. I understand the sense. There, there's but. a lot of options that, like the the previous generations, is aside from plastic, and that's why they even used a lot of cardboard packaging. They used a lot of metallic packaging, like different types of metal. Do you want your your medical? Uh, like, do you do you want I, your, I'm not your, your medical, I'm already, in, a, in a cardboard don't container? Use medical, Excuse me. Hello? Don't use. Something. Do you want? Do you want your cardboard yeah. coming in a, in a? Or sorry, do you want your toothpaste to come in a cardboard container? Do you want your toothbrush to come in a cardboard container? Instead of being covered in plastic and cardboard. Excuse me. Is it speak about uh, uh, ecology? Sure. I don't know what we're speaking about today. Why not, though? Like, what's wrong with a cardboard box and your toothbrush is just in a cardboard box? What do you mean? Do you have to see through the packaging? Does the does that advertising and marketing appeal have sanitation. to be for you to buy it? Can, they have, can there not be a picture of the toothbrush on the box like they're? You're. I'm saying yeah, you don't know how it used to be. It's hard to imagine that, but I come from an older family, so I've seen how things used to be. In fact, it's ironic. Like my mom. Okay, uh, what you're doing is the argument from antiquity, though. You're doing it makes everything you're saying kind of like. No, uh, it's you're hard right. Take seriously, because you're I just saying like, oh, things used to be this way. And things were, okay. I explained in which applic in which way it should be applicable. And I'm explaining that I'm saying something very like simple, and you're the one that's drawing it out and making it more than what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with how I am saying it. There is tons of substitutes for plastic for for manufacturing packaging, and it has always been there. That's the irony. Plastic is a new thing. There's nothing. Listen. The problem with humans is that we come out with a new technology that we don't realize is harmful or a new product like cigarettes, for example. We didn't know cigarettes were bad for you until maybe like 10 years into everyone in the fucking world smoking them. It took us a little bit because of long-term health studies and stuff like that, right? Um, same thing with plastics. Like nobody ever invented plastics and said, bro, fuck it. We're going to make so much of this and we're not going to do anything about it. It's just a, a condition of like humans not all working together. So we can't all agree like, yeah, so if we make this amount of plastic, we have to have the infrastructure in place to melt all of that down and make it into new plastic. That should be the law. That should be the thing. Like if you're going to if you're going to create and use plastics, which can easily be melted down, it costs energy, though. So it's not a free transition. Like you do have to spend energy to convert it back into usable plastic, but you can use con like renewable energy to do that. It's all possible. But the problem is that we allowed plastics to be produced and used and put into use um, without any sort of system to plan on how we're getting rid of it. There, no, there's never any plan. Very, we never, we never the, plan on it. If you actually look into the history of plastic manufacturing, they've understood the protocol from the very beginning, and the medical field has always followed these sus protocols. And that's why I said it should have only been used in that field. And the fact that greedy assholes got a hold of it and decided to use it for mass packaging and put it in the consumer market is what fucked everybody. But sure, just ignore my main point that makes so much fucking sense and say a bunch of shit that just whatever. You, you are completely disregarding the way that plastics have changed humanity. It's probably that antibiotics and like soap and silicon are like the four big things that have shaped humanity in the last hundred years. We would not be fucking anything that we are, Olive, if we didn't have plastics. I'm sorry, I understand that they're a problem, but we, plastic, look around you. What doesn't have, is it, what around you isn't made of plastic to some extent? Or, or, you know, I see a lot of shit that breaks because it's made out of plastic 
And the other shit that was made out of solid metal parts, the other shit that was made out of more um, better materials that wasn't plastic, those are still fucking in use and functional. The ones that got plastic pieces, though, they eventually break and crack on the inside. Shit don't work. Like, what do you mean? It's turned into, it's a part of the consumerism market that you buy something and throw it away and buy a new one. This is, this has been a part of our culture. This is something that, yeah, it's impacted us. It's made us a throwaway fucking culture. We didn't used to throw everything away. My grandpa's generation fixed everything because they would be able to take that thing apart and put a new metal piece in it and then it would work. What a miracle that was. You, oh, I, I can't even. No, it's, it's like, I see, I feel the same way about you because it's like, you really have no idea what you're saying and you're just making an argument I that don't you really don't saying. understand that you're making and you think you do. And you could argue about its application in terms of our technological advances, sure. And I wouldn't disagree with you there, okay? But once again, could it have still been done alternatively? And had it been since its original inception? Yeah. Has it helped us develop a lot of micro technologies? Sure. Am I gonna deny those facts? No. But am I still gonna go back to my original statement that it should never have been used beyond medical um, application? Yes. I, I just still don't understand why you, you know what, I'm not even gonna argue. Igor, what did you wanna say, man? I wanted to protect you, Chris, cause you have your opinion and uh, but no, 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 your, ex your, your, your experience uh, is uh, 100 percent and a leaf is looking to your experience like a one person because uh, no she's not he, looking for my input on it she just wants to talk about it in her own way which is fine people are allowed to say whatever they want i just i don't know how to explain to you that there is no good current mass producible alternative to plastic that takes its place we don't have it today it doesn't exist by the way in russia we don't have even uh, how to say it uh, distribution of trash when you can use plastic or g glass or uh, or paper we have only one bin for everything uh, a lot of consumer recycling doesn't get done properly anyway, so it's kind of, it helps a little bit, but it's corporations. I'm telling you, it's it's, it's um, like big companies making a big impact. Uh, I don't know, man. By the way, how do you buy bananas? Are you buying it with uh, a price, uh, price tag on this or price tag on your pocket? We, they at the grocery store here they come in like a uh, just bundles and they just they're weighed by like 30 cents a pound or whatever I just did. yeah they still Good usually deal. put stickers on them but they wouldn't have to in the old day what they used to do was they used to take rope and make tags for things there's a lot of little things they used to do now was it the mo did they find in the past was the argument hear me out when plastic was introduced, did it not seem like a more reasonable thing than what they were already doing? The answer is yes. Did it seem like they were wasting less energy? Yes, because when they originally began to use it and it was like introduced to the consumer market, they didn't even have them recycling it in the very beginning, okay? They just had them throwing it away like it was okay, no biggie, just throw in the trash. It's no big deal, it ain't no thing, okay? Like, they were actually teaching Boy Scouts to dig big holes and bury plastic and cover the hole, okay? They were, they were teaching people to do this kind of, like, actually fill it into landfills, contaminate the ground soil, frackle. They were teaching us to frackle, okay? I know a lot of the history behind it. I really do. And so I'm, I'm not saying from that angle, but there was alternative methods that, quote, unquote, were less efficient if we think about... All, and only in the spectrum of uh, the positives that the plastic provided that they were able to create like um, more sterile packaging, more one-time use objects and all kinds of different things as a result of that application. But was that really positive? No. And are we going to start getting rid of it now and going back to the other way? Yeah. Have we already started this process? Yes. How, how, how efficient is it if we have to go back to what we were doing 50 years ago? It's not that efficient. I'm sorry. And it hasn't been that long since it's been regularly a part of the consumer market to the point where it's been like part of mass exploitation. It's, it's gained popularity over spans of time. 
It surely didn't fuel the Industrial Revolution. It wasn't plastic that started that shit. That shit started do, on its own. Do we have problem of okay, overproducing that, plastic? The assembly, line, the, the assembly line has nothing to do with plastic. There's tons of shit that has nothing to do with plastic. Plastic is just, too, like, honestly, the greatest breakthrough for plastic is how we were able to use plastic to make, like, um, um, artificial organs and shit. Like that we're able to put plastic inside our body because it doesn't break down and it was able to, it, it made so many great application purposes in the hospital. Like it really did. And they're the ones that properly dispose of it. So it's never been a problem for them, you know, like, but it's just, it's sad because it, it just was taken and exploited and it was miseducated in the beginning. And they knew from the start, because from the start, the medical profession was recycling this shit. But the consumer market wasn't. And if you look up the history, you'll see it. It's shitty. How can, a lot of things are done on purpose. How should we use uh, plastic? Like I'm saying, it really should only have, like, medical application. Like, honestly, like, we should only be using it in, like, a hospital or a doctor's office, like, area we really shouldn't be using it for everything we really could be doing other things like you know we could create like desanitation mats where we purposely are like you know walking onto areas that we sanitize our feet and then our feet are drying off and then we walk through this other area like we could do all kinds of different stuff and instead of implementing these certain types of technologies we're like oh no let's use a plastic barrier on the foot this could be the cheapest way because this one time use product but it's not the best way you know And so, like, there's tons of more engineering that could be put into everything. And everything has the capacity to basically be built on and innovated. So with that in mind, is plastic even necessary? Probably not. Do we, even, do we need anything to replace it? Probably not, because we don't even fucking need it. it can, we, can, we, can engineer, we can engineer around it. That's the fucking joke. I'll be right back. Thanks. the topic, guys we should turn plastic into is that the topic hello ho hello 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 running like some a holes spinning some ass homo no homo he said a ho what's up man Hey, so what are Olive talking about, man? To be honest, I think she was talking about some. We were talking but for... Also, the other day, she was talking about some. We were talking on plastic and uh, ecology for 15 minutes. I'm here for 15 minutes, too. What you saying, my friend? I said that we were talking about plastic and about ecology yes and plastic and biology ecology eco ecology yes yes and what's your today's topic a whole did you prepare your presentation presentation of health of i health think of a lot of us anything. don't know too much of about health of No one knows about their body, you know, and we consume a lot of toxic things like GMO. We do know a lot about our bodies. We do know a lot of. Chris, by the way, you look like a videographer. What's that mean? It means that you create videos, maybe, or you are a photographer. But who are you? Super far off, bro. Who? Um, I'm a network engineer. Oh, network engineer. It is programming uh, coding. Let's go. Yeah. And uh, what do you do? What's? Can you explain it uh, in easy words? I'm a hacker, words? bro. Hacker? No, I'm not at all. Um, no, I uh, build cross connects between uh, cable systems. 
Ah, I understood. It is a uh, network uh, in uh, in computers, between computers, like uh, local systems. Bigger than that. Uh, I work for a, uh, an internet provider. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I do fiber optics. I do like the business side of things, like the enterprise side. Uh, fiber optics, okay. And uh, what's the five biggest companies in your country of... Um television or or this network said what is life biggest system comcast is the biggest one in the u.s yeah uh how, how Hughes, is, how, comcast HughesNet, spectrum uh it's optimum yeah and there's another one that i want to i can't it's not ringing off the top of my head I worked for the, and then there was media, so it's like, um... I think it's right MSNBC there. is what it is, actually. No, it's, it's also, part, no, they own Comcast, network. too, don't they? Uh, we're talking about MSOs, like, that just provide internet. Uh, oh, okay. So it's like yeah. Comcast, it's Comcast, Spectrum, uh, Optimum, and then Mediacom. I worked for Mediacom for, like, four years. Spectrum is the fucking best, period. Uh, they're just okay. I worked for them, that was my, that was my first job. Medium com. Did you hear about impeachment of Donald Trump? Yeah. He's not getting fucking impeached. Good God. What do you think about this situation? I think if idiots really want to fucking impeach him, guess what they're going to get stuck with? They're going to get stuck with Mike Pence. And if they want to get rid of Mike fucking Pence, guess what else they're going to get stuck with? They're going to get stuck with that fucking Petraeus dude. Okay, so either way you slice it, you might as well just keep fucking Donald. Because the minute you get rid of him, you're going to put these fucking career politicians in power who are ten times as fucking extreme as he is. Are you really that fucking short-sighted? There's a whole reason you want to keep him in office, man. He's not a career politician. He literally can't get shit done. It's better to just leave him where he fucking is. He's businessman yeah. and entrepreneur, yes? Yes. Yeah, he's not a politician. He doesn't know how to work the whole fucking legal system like an actual president would. He's literally just a fucking puppet, and that's what he needs to stay. Okay? Because you don't want Pence in the fucking Oval Office. Puppet you don't want whom? Petraeus in the Oval Office. You don't want those fucking people in the Oval Office. You think your rights are under attack now? Fucking wait. Wait. Wait till a motherfucker like Sanders is in office. Preaching free shit everywhere. He's going to be one of the first motherfuckers to take your shit. Leave Trump where he's at. It's your best bet. It's our safest fucking bet. Oh my God. Thanks for your opinion. Hello, Disu. Did you, did you say to leave Trump where he's at? Are you yeah, saying do you want, keep him as the president? Do you want Mike Pence as your fucking president? I don't want him as my president. Either. Okay, so I you better leave Trump where he's at. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. What I want is for everybody to be a little bit smarter as a whole, as an entire country. And I would like to okay. shut the fuck up for a second. I'm not done. No, because like you're not, you're, you totally revolution. ignored what I fucking said. You just have a revolution. You and literally you ignored everything I fucking said. Just to have your true Scotsman talk. All right, that's, that's a totally olive thing to do. Speak of the devil. Totally ignore what people are actually saying to try, and have your, to try and have your true Scotsman debate. Okay, I get it. In many, many oh, Let me put it to you this way. I'm trying to speak. There could be way worse than fucking Trump in office. This All right, is why period. I don't talk when I come here. Period. Don't shut up. Period. Or it'd be nice. Because it's a fucking bullshit opinion, dude. 
If I was running, would you vote for me, Porter? Of course. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. What does it mean, period? What do you say, Igor? What mean? What means period? Period. Period is a is a dot. It's like the dot. No, it means end of fucking it's discussion. Like end of sentence. End of transmission. Yeah, it's it's like you know the point at the end of the sentence. It's like a dot. Like, yes. Yeah. At the end of the sentence, yes, a period, or uh, it's like a period, like a woman's period, like. Because I thought that I, period is like a temporary. Uh, well, it can be a period, like a period of time. No, okay, like so in the context which I was using it, to say period at the end means done. Means yeah. ah, okay, ah, okay, okay. But, so, but it can be so. used as a period of time, or it could also be used as like, oh, a woman's having her period. You know what I mean? Like, or, you know, just a period <laughs> for the end of a sentence, so yes. Okay, so thanks, so. the aliens. No problem, um, <laughs> my friend. My Russian friend. And Igor is constantly working on his vocab, guys. Da, pashona hui pizda vanucci. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> he said, "Go fuck yourself." You are motherfucker. No, no, no. Pashona hui pizda vanucci. Ah, can't. No, I mean, from from what I understood, is that means go fuck yourself. You stink from your vagina. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. kind of. You can interpret it uh, with different ways. Yeah, because pizda means like... It means like, girl, it means, it means uh, vagina, it means uh, cunt, it means uh, like uh, everything. Yeah, it can be kind of like interpreted as a lot of bad things. But and where are you from, the Allens? Allens. Uh, I'm Belgian. Belgian, oh. It is uh, red, black, g yellow flag. Red, black, yellow, just like the German, but kind of upside down or like sideways. Or yeah, <laughs> exactly. The next word on his vocabulary list, snowflake. That has many applications as well. S snowflake, it is a special thing from snow and from Christmas. It is a small piece of something. Yeah, of snow. It also means that is like. It also means like yeah, an delicate. emotionally sensitive person. What? 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 A snowflake again? is a delicate person. Igor, you're a fucking snowflake and a fruitcake at the same time. One moment. Like a snowflake fruitcake. <laughs> I will Google it. <laughs> Go Google it. Sure. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I want to see what it comes up with. Yeah, fucking fruitcake. <laughs> Snowflake does not mean fruitcake. I just want to clarify Shut that. Up, I know you're up. for it too, and so I just want to clarify for you, bro. But not the exact Snowfall, same. Like... That English. That English. I'm, I mean, okay, snowflake and fruitcake, they're not the same, but they are kind of the same. Like, I googled to what is snowflake. Snowflake, it is person who has specific characteristics inside of him that makes him special. <laughs> right, right. That's, that's if you say yeah, you're Igor. a special snowflake. <laughs> Igor, so when someone calls somebody else a snowflake, it's meant as an insult. Like, like you're, it's like, oh, you're so special. You're very special, like special ed, a special education in the head, like slow, <laughs> like retarded, like uh, difficult to understand ideas. You can know? can I, I love, say I that uh, who person who has uh, cancer of brain? Oh, you're a snowflake. I love the way you said <laughs> No, no, retarded. you can't use it that way. It's not used that way, Igor, no. You are very retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Like He's like, because I'm not like, afraid of the team. I am snowflake. No, no, that's not how I, it works. I'm snowflake. No. I am very no. retarded. <laughs> so retarded. That's like some Borat <laughs> shit right there. No. <laughs> Cancer flake. Okay, okay. Now, now look up fruitcake. Fruitcake. Like, okay, like, one type, moment. Type, you're a fruitcake. All the terms. Snowflake's fruitcake. 
fruitcake. You're a, you're a snowflake fruitcake. Except they might both be insults, but they're not completely synonymous. No, but I just I like put I like putting them together. Eccentric <laughs> or like mad person. Mad Say again. Eccentric or mad person. A fruitcake. Yes. Yes. I mean, they mean mad I mean. and crazy. They mean yeah, mad as in crazy. So, yeah, no, no. But think about this. So back in the day. You didn't call someone necessarily a f okay. So the reason why fruitcake probably got like slander slurred on gays is people like making fun of the idea of gay. But the idea of a fruitcake is like someone at like a nupin. Like, what are you, some fucking fruitcake? You got some wires loose in your brain? You ain't the fucking sharpest crayon in the box by far. You know, some blah blah blah. Fruitcake's like agony. Like Imagine it with that context. Uh -huh. It makes more sense, you know? Fruit but we have, in our contemporary culture right now, we use fruitcake. We don't use it to just say someone's crazy. We usually call them fruitcake, we call them gay. I so he's right. But it makes sense with the definition. I've seen it used in other contexts, is what I'm saying. Gotcha. gotcha. You know what? You're a fucking sponge cake, dude. Get out of here. Sponge cake? Oh, I mean, sponge cake is fucking disgusting. It's like a sponge boat. I like moose cake. Sponge cake and angel food cake. If someone called me a sponge cake, I'd be like, oh, thanks. You know, like, What's the difference? So cool sponge cake. <laughs> What's the difference? I really don't know. He's a... I want to be called Spongebob. In Russia? Spongebob in Russia. Then change your name to Sponge. Yo, what, what is stripper in Russian? Who? Who? Stripper. What is stripper in Russian? Stripper. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's stripper. You know, girls who you go to the club, they, you throw money at them and they take clothes off and they get naked. Ah, striptease. Striptease. Yeah, but like, I'm pretty sure the word for stripper in Russian Wait, is what did he say? Is stripper. <laughs> in, in Russia, it in is uh, striptease. Ah, striptease. Okay. Strip Russia? Wait, say it again. Strip what? Striptizersha. It is like a striptease, but striptizersha. 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 Is that one of exotic dancers? Striptizersha. Oh yeah, yeah. So now, and aside from that, do you have um? So from strippers. Do you have like exotic dancers too, or are those just the strippers? Because there is, you know, in some countries they have a difference. What's the difference between stripper man and stripper female? Male and female. In our culture, we're strippers. <laughs> They're the same. In our culture, yeah, what Destu said, we just say male or female before the word. That's ah, it. Okay. So male, stripper, that's all. So it's a different word for you. So what's the name for a male stripper? Striptizer. Striptizer. Okay, so it's the same thing regardless. Yes, uh, it is like a actor and actress. Would I be able to bring this busted palette onto the plane? Oh, what? The, the mirror is like all cracked. Like, no, I think that's fine. That could be a weapon, right? No, that's fine. What do, you do what are you doing this? Is it shadows? I'm going it's... on a plane today. How? Well, how? 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 Yeah, that's it. Uh... I don't know if you heard her, but she said she's going on a plane today. Igor. She's visageist. What? Visa geist. I don't. I don't know what. Visa geist. What? Visa geist. I don't know what the fuck. What's that? Visa geist. Make up person. Oh, like glamour queen. I like to yeah, think it's so. like it's like a facial like a visage at least in French is face so it's like face ist or some shit like that makeup artist yeah so it's like 
Glamour. So it's like someone though that likes to be like a glamorous, right? Just like an amateur. It is profession. Oh, makeup artist. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, exactly. All right, dude, as fun as I am being lost in translation here, cheers. How often American women do makeup on their faces? America, very diverse. We have everything. Some women, they don't wear no makeup. Some women, they wear enough makeup for like 10 women. Some women, they wear that shit like they won't leave the house without wearing it. Some will purposely leave the house when wearing it, but only get dressed up for special occasions once a week. We have diversity here. Bitches could be who they want to be in America. But what's the deal with those ones that like cake on like a shitload of makeup? And you know, stuff? I think some of them, like for example, when I was younger, I never really caked. I would always use like a good concealer because I had a lot of acne in puberty. But I think some of them are like tr trying to c cover up like skin problems sometimes, you know, and they don't know how to do their makeup. So they cake it on. And then some of them that have good skin, it's like they just don't know how to do their makeup once again. So they cake it on. Like they're trying. Cosmetics. Is cosmetics uh, healthy? All I know is a lot of the chicks that I know that used to cake on retarded amounts of makeup, now they're all really good at doing their makeup. It's like, whoa, dude, took you like, like 10 fucking years, but you finally got that shit down. I, I hope so. I hope you can only improve from... The first step of being good at something is being really, really bad at something. So it takes like 10,000 hours to master anything. Right. So all those years of those girls that like they just struggled, like because like me, like I've never had a problem like doing makeup when I need to do it. Like, but I do. I'm kind of creative. I'm kind of artistic. So maybe just for people like more inclined like that, it's not like that. But people who aren't like that doing their own makeup, it maybe truly is a struggle for them, you know, and they truly need to practice doing it like makeup is art isn't it i mean there's some people that are very artistic with it i have a friend like i'm saying she used to cake her makeup on now she's a makeup artist for a living and she does all kinds of unique face painting i've showed her before it's the one that took like the wig like it was a cheap wig and like she teased it all and made it look like really expensive like really sick she's into that shit, you know and now when she does her eye makeup igor it's like a fucking painting on her eye and shit. Like she does like five colors all blending together seamlessly and then like stars and this shit and that shit. And it's like, whoa, dude, you just like painted on your face for like three fucking hours. It does look really cool, but damn, that took that. That's like dedication, you know, like that's so there's a lot of women that even they'll do makeup to look more like natural, you know, like but they're still caked with makeup. And yeah, it all depends so, on the skills. What are your thoughts on fake eyelashes? Love them. They can really look. What about fake eyelashes? What is eyelashes? Ah, it is. Uh, what, is what? what is what? What is what? What is what? I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know that women get f fake eyelashes. Fake eyelashes. Oh, um, about okay. So you could go and professionally get. So yeah. So some some women go out of their way. Okay. So because like there was all of those like um, jokes. That, that me out. First, hear, me out, hear me out. Remember like there was like memes about like taking a girl for a first date to go swimming, to see what she really looked like. Okay. So from there, bitches have really like been all over this. Now it's like, hey, if you're gonna fill in your eyebrows, if you're a rich girl, just go get them micro threaded. Like yeah, make it so life. that you can rub your face, like that shit's on there now. You're going for that look, just have a more pertinent look, a semi-pertinent look that you have to have redone anyways after so many like 
period of time, depending on who you are. My you eyebrows know? are neck ablated, and my my eyelashes are stuck on like one by one. So like, good luck trying to throw me into the pool and seeing what I really look like. <laughs> I wake up like that. This right. Is- so it's but so it's like in retrospect, right? So it's like it's it's kind of like this idea of cosmetics that's kind of like more natural cosmetics, like for those who can afford it, but it's still not natural because it still is. Yeah, they're they're actually going in there and they put like special eyelashes and they curl your eyelash to these fake eyelashes and like fuse it and there's a procedure for it and everything. Like, yeah, she's gotten it done. And so like then there's the microblading for the eyebrows. Um and I'm trying to think there's there's other procedures. Microblading is that like a little bit more permanent? That's what they do. It's semi that's like semi permanent tattooing. It's semi permanent two or three years or a year or two. It's it's ta- it's tattooing your eyebrow, but it only goes within like the like two or three layers. Where tattooing goes in what like more, more layers. I think goes it just goes under these less layers than a tattoo is less permanent. Ah, microblading is tattoo technique, yes. Yeah, more or less. Yes. This, by the way. So basically, uh, you... basically it's just like ah! a. I so my permanent say. tattoo, you know, which makes sense. And for some people, it makes like a dramatic difference in their appearance, like huge difference because the microblading looks more natural than filling it in with makeup. So it takes someone who like, it just reshapes their entire face by giving them eyebrows, basically. It can make someone look younger dramatically, all kinds of shit. Like, but yeah, so you have that, and that's like that's another level of um, beauty care and shit. But then, like aside from that, they also still have like makeups where now they're making eyelash stuff that have built-in latex. So you put like a layer of latex on your eyelashes, and then you fill it over with the mascara. But either way, I don't do all that shit. I just put a little bit of mascara. I already have black eyelashes, and they're pretty big. I'm sure I can like look better if I did more though. Would probably look like more feminine. But You're already pretty feminine looking. Yeah. Thanks. One day I'll get some fake eyelashes though, and I'll put them on for you and be like, "What do you think now, Desu?" <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you struggle putting them on. Uh, you know, I probably. I mean, I might a little bit. But I'm pretty good with that shit. Like when I want to know how to do something, Desu, I just like watch a video on it. And I'm pretty good at learning like that. Like I can watch a video and do. Some people like they're not good at just picking up something like by watching somebody else do it. But you are a good repeater, yes. I would probably get ones. They have different fake eyelashes that have barely any, and they're like spaced so that when you add them, it's not like too much of a crazy. And then you curl them. You have to use an eyelash curler anyways to curl them together. But I should have wore fake eyelashes for prom. For my prom, I went like all natural, pretty much. I always like for every occasion, I'm never like dolled up. I've never done like the full dolled, like professional yeah, makeup I doll look. In prom, but. I let my aunt do my hair, which is something I didn't do, and like I cut my bangs here too. I don't know, it's whatever. Prom. If I wish I could redo it again, do a long, elegant dress, the one with a short one. DJ Eleven, hello. You could, can't you? Desu, Disu. By the way, you have nice haircut. I like it. What does it mean? I leave you into the blacks. What is? You know, in 2019, they tried to figure out if I'm racist. That's what that's saying. I don't read that as, do I have a preference? I read it as, are you racist? Ah, it means that he said, like, you are racist. 
No, 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 it's a question. Like, like, oh, you into that? Oh, oh Lion, hello, make America great again. M-A-G-A. Stolly. Make America great again. Oh, yeah. Impeachment again. And what kind of evidence? Damn. Trump um, 2020, baby. Trump 2020. Sky Kush, how come you never show your face? I've seen Sky Kush before. He, 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 he's cammed up before. Yeah, yeah. My battery, my phone. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm here. It's yeah. like something. I know Sky Kush. I've seen him before. Where is the next elections of the United States? Yeah, it's just I wanted to I I wanted a camera. I could camera. I just What's going on guys? Going to, yeah. You see it man, what up? Hello Yeah, not too much. Key vo. What is what? <clears throat> Having a beer or two? Where from Kiva? Uh, Australia. I didn't even wow. hear your question, Bob. Mm, 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 mm. What do you do? Are you working Yo, cheers, of, though, guys. Uh, of something mm. electrical? No, just warehousing. What do you do? No, just warehousing. Driving for cliffs, counting stock. All that good nonsense. Can you explain it in more phrases to understand it correctly? Um, so I'm in an inventory team and we make sure the inventory is good. Ah, <laughs> events. Your really... children entertainer. Yes, why not? Let's go with that. Oh, I was children entertainer too. I was Captain America. And Elsa. Did you yeah. work with animals? What? This conversation is hella funny. Did you wear fake muscles when you were Captain America? Like one of those suits with like the fake muscles? Yes, shape yes, to it? yes. Exactly, exactly. They're right. And Elsa Batman. I can, I can share my link to Instagram to watch my photos with this custom, if you want. Oh, no. I, I know. No. I can do like this way. One moment. I'm just kidding. I hate to do that accent shit to you. Uh, no. This bad man, it was me. Ah, fuck yeah, Batman. And Kevo, are you firefighter? Mm -mm. But no, it's just um, so we're in Australia. You know, if we have to work in like a, you know, a public area, or if we have to work where it's somewhere has to be safe, we have to wear like super fluoro bright clothing. Is it for savers? Is it for what, sorry? Savers. Savers of souls. Savers. Saver. Yeah, yeah, well, kind of. Oh, fucking Thano. Is Thano here? Where is he? Where is he? Can you give me advice, Kiva? Oh, how, how old are you? How old am I? 30. 30. I'm 21. Can you give me advice that you learn 
uh, what you will give for 21 years old you? Ah, just enjoy yourself. Take life as it comes. Don't take it too seriously. Don't overthink anything. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Thanks a lot. It is meaningful. Because I find this what uh, you know. I Yeah, I kind of don't like There it is. I really don't want to do this. Everybody. I really, really, really don't want to do this. Are you all my friends? Are you having a good day? It's not a good day. Oh, yes. Any day is a good day for Rosie. (laughs) Rosie, you have so high pitched voice. You 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 can turn down the volume. Yeah, I turned it down to like four <laughs> percent. Yeah, and I get told I fight to become the center of attention. <laughs> oh, wow. Where well, everybody who wants to hear Rosie sing a song to start the day? Well, what would you like to hear? You want to hear a Beatles song, everybody? Yeah, dear Prudence. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, have a nice day, guys. Thanks a lot for our conversation. It was so. He's like, wow, this is enough of this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Bye bye.